Hello tech lovers, for those of you who've watched my channel for a while, you will have noticed earlier this year I uh, set up this new space for me to do recording to, and you may have also noticed something else that's been annoying me for a while. There's an echo in here. Uh, the reason there's an echo is you can see there's a nice solid wall there, another solid wall there, you see there's no furnishings in here, it's just full of uh, gadgets and filming equipment, more of a wall back there. Around here, you get a bit behind the scenes, there's my little light. Um, what you can see there though is these solid shutters, the little blinds that I close to keep the sunlight out. And so sound is just bouncing all around this room. And when I'm recording, I'm, I'm finding it's quite annoying. When I'm listening back, there's a slight echo to the room. So I have been doing some research and decided to get some sound absorbing panels. So as you can hear, I'm recording the miss before the panels, so it'll be very interesting to see the difference they make. I'm gonna go and grab them, show you. They've not been put up yet, but for all I know, they'll make a difference straight out of the box. So, here we go. That's quite interesting. So there, there is a slight noticeable drop, but this isn't all I've got. These are going to go on this wall here. I also ordered hexagonal panels, and these are ones to put on the ceiling to create a bit of absorption here and some absorption on the ceiling. Now, I got these. I got these from a company called GIK Acoustics. They insist on putting this tacky little sticker on their kit, which is really annoying because it's not that cheap, it's kind of expensive. What I wanted though, I've seen this before, I've seen panels that are like egg shaped, egg box shaped, and uh, they're normally black and you stick them to the wall. In a small space that might look quite cool, I've seen this on various YouTube channels, but in this space I wanted it uh, not just as a recording area, I also wanted it to look nice as well. They have a range of patterns and styles. You just go on the website, select the size, the pattern, and uh, just see what you think, really. Colors, it's all, it's all customizable. Same with the ceiling tiles I've got. They've come with this, these little things, and you pop these on the back, and then map them. That's what I'm gonna do, uh, and then I'll show you them. But one thing to note, this is the second batch I've had. The first batch unfortunately arrived with transportation damage. I definitely would say though that the customer service from this company is really good. They were very helpful during my initial inquiries. When I let them know about the damage, they immediately offered to either part refund if I kept the items or do a swap, which I've done because I'm going to be filming in here. I want it to look nice. Um, one thing I would say is, even though on the replacements they generally look okay, there is some chippage just at the top. I think if I just get a little dab of white paint though, that'll come out and that'll look fine. I can put it the other way up so it's not in eye level. So I've had to wait a couple of weeks uh, in a way. I'm going to try and put these up and I'm going to try and mount them using Velcro. They had suggested some sort of hooking mechanism to put it up on the ceiling, but I wasn't too sure about that. So I've got this industrial strength Velcro, I'm going to stick a couple of sides onto this. Feels quite light, and then stick them on the ceiling. The Velcro method worked really well for me. They stuck on nice and easily. For the main panels, I decided to hang these like pictures. So I added a couple of picture hooks and some string, and then they could be easily wall mounted rather than using the included brackets. So here we are, the panels are now up. I recorded a video 
last week and I noticed a massive improvement to the audio quality. Obviously I wouldn't normally have these behind me, they're normally to the side of me, but even this way I think the sound quality is much better, there's far less echo. So I've got the wall panels and I've got the ceiling tiles and they're all working together really well to dampen down that echo. Nice solid wall there. In case you're wondering, Manson albums to the side. I had to put those up at the same time just to finish the room. So yeah, I would definitely recommend these. They have a variety of front panels. If you're not keen on this particular look, you can change this style. You can change the color that's behind it. It's the color of the panel as well. Very highly customizable. And I think this looks a lot better than the lower cost ones. You can also move these around if you hang them correctly. You don't have to stick them to the wall, which means you're not going to damage your wall if you move or you need to change these positions. If you'd like to learn more about these panels, I'll put a link in the description below. If you haven't already, click subscribe, join my tech tribe, and I'll see you on the next video.